My family yesterday, Camilla Parker Bowles was in Mombasa, Kenya. Whereby she went to a place called the Situation Room in Mombasa. Whereby she met survivors of sexual and gender based violence. Learning how they are supported and sharing her own insights from working in the area. And my family, this is the clip, the palace account on X, formerly called Twitter, posted my family of Camilla being there in Mombasa. There she is. Mombasa, Kenya. My family. Meeting survivors of gender and sexual based violence. And my family, when I saw the palace posting this clip of Camilla on their ex account, my family, it got me thinking of when Jeremy Clarkson wrote that vile column about Megan, which was then published by the Sun tabloid. In my family, some things you would like to forget of what Megan has been put through, of how she has constantly been targeted time and time again, like that vile column written by Jeremy Clarkson. Basically, he was in citing violence towards Megan. That is what he was calling for. My family. And then, after he got so much backlash, he then sent an email to Prince Harry. Not to Megan, whom he targeted. The mother of Harry's kids. You know, my family, you must be able to understand why he did what he did. My family, before that column was even written, Jeremy Clarkson went to a party with Camilla Parker Bowles, was invited to a party by Camilla Parker Bowles. Piers Morgan, or my family, basically says the most vile things about Megan also was invited to a party by Camilla Parker Bowles. My family. You know, my family is like people who go after Harry Megan. People who my family sadly incite hate against Megan are rewarded by members of the royal family. We have seen just enough being given a top royal honor by Prince William. We have seen Christian Jones, whose partner was taking payments to brief against Megan. Also, he got a promotion. My family, he got a promotion. Which shows you he was only doing what he did, following orders of Prince William to sabotage Megan. My family, Camilla, we see her hanging out with Piers Morgan, Jeremy Clarkson, individuals my family have in hate against Megan. You know? And my family, basically, Camilla, for me, is not the person to talk about anything having to do with sexual and gender based violence because my family she never ever condemned the violence the internet of hate directed towards Megan Markle she never ever condemned the violence or the in segment of hate directed towards Megan by the UK tablet press and clearly also by senior members of the royal family who are behind that. 
who are behind all those negative stories written about Meghan Markle. So my family, I'll always call out Charles, William, Kate, and Camilla. Whenever I see hypocrisy, I'll always call them out because I know they are not being genuine. They aren't. They are not being genuine. My family, they are not. And my family, Jeremy Clarkson, he sent an email to Prince Harry, not to Meghan, the woman he abused. My family, why do you think he did that? In my family, it just goes to show my family of how these individuals want to disrespect Meghan Markle, but be like, you know, Harry, you know, we are okay with you, but we aren't okay with the biracial woman you married. That's the message they are trying to send to Prince Harry. And they'll tell you it has nothing to do with race, but my family, it has everything to do with race, with Megan's race. Because in Megan's life, never has she been accused of anything, not bullying, nothing. In fact, everyone who has ever worked with Megan only has but nice things to say about Megan. And then Megan joins a toxic institution after marrying Prince Harry. And then all of a sudden, she's called a bully by an institution with a history of my family making the women who married the royal family go through so much pain and suffering. My family, who do you believe? An institution with a history of bullying women who married the royal family or women who have never ever been accused of anything prior to joining a toxic institution. My family. Also, the other reason why Jeremy Clarkson sent an email only to Harry, but not to Meghan, is my family to sow discord between Harry and Meghan. For Harry to have that kind of, you know, talk with Meghan and Meghan asking Harry. He abused me. Why is he sending an email to you and yet I was the one he abused? I was the one who he held comments full of misogyny towards me. Me. I was the one who he, Jeremy Clarkson, incited violence against me, not you. My family. And him sending an email to Prince Harry was showing even more and more disrespect towards Meghan Markle. My family, it is no secret that this carnival of so-called experts, they want Harry back alone. Without Meghan, Archie, or Lily Bertana, my family. The message is very clear. They want Harry back inside the royal fold, back inside the royal fold, my family, to perform for the media, to make money for the likes of people who write columns, Jeremy Clarkson and the other so-called royal experts for UK media to make money for them because they see Prince Harry as a community. My family. And when Harry is around, you can see actual work being done. That is what you can see. But when he ain't around, my family, you can see how other members, the royal family, the laziness, it just shows. How boring they are, it just shows. You can see them, my family. I mean, remember how when Harry was coming to the UK for the World Child Awards, Prince William took a break from his vacation to my family go out and do some kind of engagement whereby he said he was, you know, trying to end homelessness in Britain. He paused his vacation the, on the same day Harry was coming to Britain. You know, it, it shows really how the guy, guy continues to compete in this one-sided competition with Harry family. And that is what UK media want, to see that kind of competition, 
That way, they can have stories. That way, they can see Prince William at least doing something. My family. For a long time, my family. It's always been Prince Harry. Who is supposed to carry William around my family. Do the work and William takes the credit, my family. The fruits of Harry's work, hard work. William takes all the credit because he is the heir to the throne of my family. For a very long time, that is how it has been. My family. For my family a long time. Even UK media, my family. They call Harry William's wingman. And that somehow Harry needs to return to be William's wingman. To prop William up. That's, what, that's how basically they see Prince Harry. As someone who is there to prop up Prince William. To do the hard work. And William takes the credit by family. That's how they view Prince Harry. And that is one of the reasons as to why they want him back. You know? And they believe somehow, as I've always said my family, that all their cards are placed on the table. And they believe that if they can destroy Harry Meghan's marriage, Harry will have to come back to Britain. Harry will come back to Britain. That is what they believe. In their minds. And that's why they are also attacking Omegan as they continue trying to abuse Megan out of Harry's life. And my family, throughout all of this, you have never seen members of the royal family condemning this hate campaign towards Megan Markle, this hate campaign towards Prince Harry. On the contrary, you have heard what the byline. Times exclusive told all of us of how senior members of the royal family signed off on a vicious 12 month press assault of Prince Harry Meghan, my family. And sadly, it's gone past the 12 month period. It has been going on for years now. And continues going on even to this day. Even when Harry and Meghan are quiet. Still, there are like hundreds of stories written about Harry and Meghan. Still, story after story after story after story. Right now, you have Hollywood experts. <laughs> then you have sources in Montecito. Yeah, then you have... I don't know, Royal experts in California. I had no idea there are role experts in California, but my family, apparently, right now, there are. Ever since Harry moved to California, there are role experts in California. <laughs> because my family, they are so desperate, you know, for stories about Harry Meghan, to make money off of them, to exploit Harry Meghan. They are so, so desperate for that, my family, to make money off of them. To exploit Harry Meghan. And uh, my family, their actions, it just, it makes me so sick. You know, it makes me so sick. And my family, Prince Harry also, you know, was angry that even after he and Meghan were quiet, for 12 months saying nothing, still, the attacks never stopped. Even when Harry and Meghan were laying, you know, a low profile in California, even right now, my family, Right now, they are rarely even seen. Right after even the event in New York, the Parent Summit in New York on World Mental Health Day, my family, Harry and Meghan have kept a low profile. A very, very low profile, my family. But regardless of them doing that, my family, still, the attacks have not stopped. The smear campaign is ongoing. And mostly, Targeting Meghan Markle, the mother of Harry's kids. You know, and through it all, members of the royal family have not once asked or ordered UK media to stop and end the hounding of Harry and Meghan. Not even once have members of the royal family condemned the racism directed. Towards Meghan Markle, not even once. 
But Camilla Parker Bowles wants to say that, you know what? She's someone who is against sexual and gender-based violence while hosting people like Clarkson to a party, for her party, in her party. My family and Pierce Morgan. My family, you know, I can't stand the hypocrisy. And my family today, I dug up what Prince Harry said in the ITV interview about Jeremy Clarkson's vile column about Meghan, my family. And you can tell how sad Harry was, my family. But also, he mentioned the name of Camilla because he knows exactly where that came from. And my family, that is what I want you to be able to hear my family today. My family, please kindly hear this. Um, you know, I talk about Caroline Flack in the book as well. Um, mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, when we're talking about accountability, mm -hmm. you know, just recently, which I know you know about, mm -hmm. um, in the Jeremy Clarkson article. Mm -hmm. So not only did what he said was horrific True. and it's hurtful and cruel towards my wife, mm -hmm. but it also encourages yes. other people around the UK and around mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. men particularly, um, to go and think that it's acceptable to treat women that way. True, true, um, true. And you know, to use my stepmother's words mm. recently as well, there is a global pandemic of violence against women. It's no longer a case of me asking for accountability, mm. but at this point, the world is asking for accountability. Yes. And the world is asking for some form of comment. My family, you've heard what Prince Harry has said. And that is what I wanted you to hear. I wanted you to hear Harry mentioning Camilla Parker Bowles' name because he and Meghan must have found out that Camilla Parker Bowles invited Camilla to a party and that's why Harry mentioned Camilla's name because he knows exactly where that attack towards Meghan, where it came from. My family... The thing is, with Prince Harry, I have seen that, you know, even though right now he does know that his family has been responsible for most of the attacks towards him and Meghan, even though now he knows, I feel like my family, in some kind of way, he doesn't believe that, you know, his father, in a way, is not part of that. That Charles, pa, is not part of of that my family but the thing is he is charles is married to camilla so camilla yes can plot against harry megan yes my family she can do that because charles allows her to you know because charles allows her to my family prince harry has this ability to see the good in people but my family, when it comes to Charles, you know, I don't know, even if you're a son, I don't know how after everything has happened, after you've been stripped of your security, I don't know how you can still see the good in someone who clearly has done everything in his power to endanger you and your family, your wife and your son. Honestly, I, I don't know how you can still see some kind of good in that person. You know? Because every single time, Charles even has a chance. He has an opportunity to be different. To at least be a good father. To at least be a good grandfather. To my family, He just does not want to. He does not, my family. I don't think he cares even one bit about Harry Meghan's kids. Because if he did, he himself would make an effort at even seeing Archie and also Lilibet Diana, my family. But the thing is, he doesn't care. He does not. So my family, to Prince Harry, I have seen that in a way, my family is someone who can see the good in people. 
I can see that my family, I can see that myself. The fact that Harry even at first was blinded and couldn't see that it was his own family who are the ones briefing and leaking against him until later on. My family, like how he went to Prince William telling him, Willie, there's a senior staff member who is sabotaging Megan Markle, my wife Megan. There's another one who is plotting against Megan. Another one also is basically his partner is taking payments to brief against Megan Markle. The fact that he went to Prince William, it shows him a family that Harry did not want to see what is right in front of him. Because he sees the good in people who clearly my family just don't mean him well. And William also does not mean Harry, Prince Harry well my family. Because we were on the outside. We could see about who was benefiting from the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. We could see that with our own two eyes, my family. We could see that with our own two eyes. We could see how Meghan gets negative press. And Kay Milton gets positive press, my family. We could see that happening. We could see how Meghan eating an avocado was called a crime by UK media. But Kate, oh, it's so nice. It's good for the baby, they said. We could see that, my family. We could see who was benefiting from the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. We could see it was William and Milton, And that was enough for us to make a conclusion that, you know what? It is William and Milton who are behind the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. And guess what? Later on, we have been proven right. Later on, Prince Harry himself admits that indeed, my family, it was members of his own family who are leaking and briefing against him and Meghan. Later on, Harry could see what already we all saw. What you saw. What I saw. Harry saw later on. My family, because my family, he, Harry, has the ability to see good in people. That my family clearly still don't wish good upon him, my family. Don't wish him peace, happiness, joy. Instead, they wish him misery. Instead, they wish to destroy him, my family. You know? And even if Harry is not living in the UK anymore, my family, based on what William did when Harry came to the UK for World Child Awards, my family, based on what William did when Harry came to the UK for World Child Awards, it showed William continues to be jealous towards Prince Harry. That is what we were able to see. My family, the guy keeps on being jealous, envious. And what does that mean? It means he'll keep on briefing against Harry, but especially against Meghan, with the hopes of destroying his brother's marriage. My family, believing if that happens, Harry will come to the UK. That is what they believe. You know? And my family, the world is asking for accountability. For the pain the farm have put Megan through. My family even hear what Prince Harry even say my family. More on what Harry himself say my family. Please, kindly hear this. For some form of comment from the monarchy. Mm -hmm. But the silence is, is, is deafening, <laughs> to put it mildly. So I think we've gone from this being like, you know, just my way bigger than us. And from what I have learned and believe in the monarchy, if someone in this country, if someone, especially in the US, no names mentioned, tweets or says certain things that are just categorically harmful and dangerous, you have the president and the vice president speak out against it. But everything that to do with my wife after six years, they haven't said a single thing, but they're willing to defend themselves regularly. And, you know, all we've ever asked for in the last, certainly the last few few years, is some accountability, and I'm very happy for. My family, you've heard what Prince Harry said. My family, clearly, it's Meghan who is the target. Even from Harry's onwards, you can hear him saying, "My family, anything 
having to do with Megan. Dangerous and false lies about her. The royal family says nothing. The royal family says nothing. Why do you think they say nothing, Harry? Why? Because they are the ones behind their abuse of Megan. Because they are the ones who are trying to destroy what you and Megan have. Even right now, as we speak, they are trying so hard to pit Harry against Megan and Megan against Prince Harry. They are trying so hard. Because clearly, the end goal is what Harry himself said in his witness to the family of how the papers have liked to see Harry single because Harry's old papers. And that twisted objective is pursued to this day even though Harry is now married. Harry is married, but they're still trying to destroy his marriage. My family, still, it continues to this day. By, by doing what? By going after Megan. Time and time again. By demonizing Megan Markle. And the only thing that Megan did was just fall in love. She just fell in love with a white prince. You know? In a dysfunctional family. That's what Megan did. Just fall in love. Fall in love. Fall in love. That's all she did. And refused to put up with abuse. And tell the world what happened to her. That's what Megan did. My family, that is what Megan did. Refused to put up with abuse and tell the world what happened to her and Prince Harry. My family, there's nothing wrong in telling your story. If people, my family, wanted you to write good things about them, then my family, they would have treated you very well. But every time, you know, my family, you give me a little story about Megan Markle and say, you know what, even lately, let me see that Megan Markle is planning on writing her own memoir. My family, there is no indication that Megan has any plans whatsoever in writing her memoir. Even when they say that my family, they say it and they follow up, you know, saying that, you know what, this could be bad news for Prince William and Kate Moulton and their whole family. My family, why do they keep saying that my family? Because my family, tell me, tell me again, UK media likes it that you know what? We welcome Megan. Look at Megan's wedding. But guess what? If you did something right by Megan, then Megan will only write good things about, about you. That's what Megan will do. But you know you did not treat Megan well. You know you cruelly mistreated Megan Markle. And now you are afraid that she will tell her story to the entire world. You are afraid. That she will say what she wants to say my family. And that is what is making members, the whole family scared. It's making my family, UK media kind of happy because they want scoops. They themselves, they want stories. They want royal stories my family. I believe even they themselves would like it if Megan would write her own memoir. You know why? Because they will get stories. To write something to talk about. Because right now, they have nothing. Right now, they, they have nothing. Right now, they're coming up with, you know, stories that make no sense. Because they have nothing. Because they have nothing. And they are desperate to have something. Right now, they're complaining. You know what? You know, Harry won't speak to his old friends. Because my family, his old friends were the ones breathing against him. And Harry isn't talking to them. And they are desperate to have some kind of source briefing against Harry Meghan. Now that they don't have that, they're angry. They're pissed off that they have nobody to who will brief against either Harry or Meghan. And they're throwing tantrums about them, my family. Because it's Harry Meghan, their names get clicks. My family, it's Harry Meghan who are famous and wildly, wildly popular. People are interested in Harry Meghan. My family. And they're angry because Harry Meghan won't allow them to just, you know, exploit them. My family. They're angry about that. You know, my family, I love how Prince Harry Meghan, you know, have a very amazing circle of friends and people that they work with. People that they trust. People who won't brief against them, my family. I like that about Harry Meghan. And my family, I hope that they continue having a team that never ever betrays them. 
That's what I really hope I find. Because my family, the UK media, you know, we know how they conduct themselves. How the people, my people, how the people, my family, to to brief and leak against you. You know? How they try to manipulate you to try and gain access to Prince Harry Meghan. We know how they behave, my family. And I hope that they never have any kind of access to Harry Meghan. And the people who work with Harry Meghan never ever try to betray them. That's what I really hope my family. And my family, basically, Camilla is not the person to talk about, you know, gender and sexual-based violence. I mean, my, my family have friendships with Clarkson, Piers Morgan. Her friendship with Clarkson and Piers Morgan, it tells you she is not the person to talk about gender or sexual-based violence, my family. Because she hangs out with people who treat other people appallingly. Who treat Megan appallingly, my family. You know, and she has never ever condemned the hateful, racist rhetoric towards Megan Markle. Prince Harry is begging for the royal family, practically, to, to condemn the abuse towards Meghan Markle, and they never have. It's my family, and yet you have some individuals wonder why Meghan isn't coming to King Charles' coronation. <laughs> my family, yet they wonder why Meghan did not come to King Charles' coronation, my family. Meghan is protecting her peace, her mental health, and may she continue doing that my family and also may no weapon formed against harry megan archie and libidana and doria ragland and all of us members of the squad ever prosper my family harry megan you are loved and keep fighting for your love because that's what tabloids the farm are targeting destroying your love don't let them succeed harry megan don't let them succeed don't let them Succeed Harry Megan. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever, my family. Now you tell me your thoughts about Camilla Parker Bowles and her silence after Jeremy Clarkson, you know, said those vile things about Megan. And to hear your opinion on the family. And also Harry mentioning Camilla's name in an interview with Tom Brad because. He and Megan know exactly where all that came from. And to think, my family, that Megan came to Camilla Parker Bowles once upon a time, asking her about how to deal with the negative press. And then Camilla Parker Bowles told Megan, you know what? Harry should be shipped off to a different place, my family. You know? My family, that is what Camilla basically said my family. You know? That Harry should go to a different place. <laughs> you know, my family, Charles, the guy is a failed father. And there are people you can be able to reason with. But Charles is not someone like that, my family. The only, you know, my family, based on what clearly I can even see my family, you know, Charles allows the abuse of his son to go on. It is him. So my family, Harry may think that it's just Camilla of how dangerous she is. But my family, it is not just Camilla. It is not just Camilla. It's also his own father, Charles. It's Pa. My family. I mean, my family, let me read you this part of Harry's memoir spare. Of when Megan even reached out to Camilla Parker Bowles. Harry said, my family, Megan, meanwhile, reached out to Camilla, who tried to cancel her by saying this was just what the press always did to newcomers, that it would all pass in due time. That Camilla had been the bad guy once. The implication was what? Now it was Meg's turn? As if it were apples to apples. Camilla also told Megan that, you know what? That Harry becomes Governor General of Bermuda, which would solve all our problems by removing us from the Red Hawk Center of the Maelstrom. And guess what? Harry and Meghan left. Has the attacks stopped? 
Harry and Meghan went to the US. Have the attack stopped? It hasn't. It has not my family. And my family clearly, even Charles, even in his first speech as king, he said, you know, as Harry and Meghan spend their lives overseas. You know? Camilla says, you know what? Meghan and Harry move to Bermuda. That Harry becomes governor general of Bermuda. My family. So my family, Prince Harry, I know the guy is his father. I know my family. And after losing a parent, sometimes you tend to cling on to another parent in my family. I myself, you know, my family, you know, after my father passed away, I don't think a week goes by that I don't even talk to my mother. My family. I don't think even a week goes by. I can't even go three days without talking to my mom. So my family, I understand. I myself, I get it. I understand. But my family, the only difference is I don't have a toxic parent. Prince Harry has. My family. Charles is someone my family who clearly, you know, has shown that the guy is jealous about his own son's star power. You know, my family, I always say this, that if you are a husband and you're jealous of your wife, then my family, you don't have a marriage. You don't. It's more like a popularity contest that you have. But but not a marriage, my family. And I have seen really how, you know, how UK media are trying to get Prince Harry to be jealous and envious of Meghan. And Meghan to be envious of Prince Harry. You know, I, I have seen that happening. I have seen the angle they have been trying to go in my family. The moment you have a marriage, a relationship whereby you are intimidated by your wife's success, you don't have a marriage. You don't. It is not a marriage. You can't call it a marriage. You cannot. My family, you cannot. You can't call it a marriage. You know? And my family, for a Megan, I believe they support each other. I believe that never will they ever be jealous of each other. Never. Never. But that is what, once again, Wikimedia are hoping would happen. That somehow Harry becomes envious of Megan that Meghan becomes envious of Prince Harry. You know, I have seen that what is that is what they are trying to do, my family. My family, I hope it never works. My family. I believe it will never ever work, my family. Because Harry and Meghan, what they have is love. Not a popularity contest, my family. Not a popularity contest. My family, hey of Charles, jealous of his own son, that he wants his son to even live in a different place. My family, that's not a father who loves you. And I feel like, you know, Harry, you just, you know, focus on his family, on Meghan Archie a little bit. And just, even if it's hard, I never ever reach out to Charles William Kate Camilla. Already he's done that. Since they don't want to call off the hounds against Harry Meghan. My family, Harry shouldn't bother with them ever again. That's my hope, my family. That is my hope. My family, tell me your thoughts about that, my family. I want to please kindly hear your opinion, family. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And may God bless all my family. A father should never ever be jealous of his son. Never. Stay tuned. To our next video, love you all and forever, and may God bless you all, my family. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. 
and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.